Similar to composition in OOP in Python, we can do something very similar with the pedantic base model. So let's suppose, for example, we have a person and we also have an address. Now, address consists of city and country, both being strings. But what if a person had an address? What we can actually do is define an address field inside this guy and say this is actually going to be an address object here. This now means that if we define a person, we pass a name as a string, and we can then pass an address as an instance of address with a city and a country. So it's a little bit like composition in your normal OOP. So if we start this really simply, let's just say P is equal to a person, and we'll just do name by itself first. Let's go ahead and just say name is equal to John. And it's giving us an error, and that's because we haven't passed in an address. So if I bring in a dictionary like this with city and country as keys and Paris and France as the values, I could then go to my person instance, come down here so it fits in, and then say address is equal to address like this. This now means that this dictionary is being passed in here, effectively evoking an instance of this address class. And then hitting run, printing off p.name and p.address, we can see John as the name here. And then when I do p.address, we can see the instance of our address class here coming out, which is good. So this is a prime example of how you can use nested models inside Pydantic. Again, quite similar to how you might use composition. And we could use this to do more advanced validation as well. So say, for example, you want to do some more address validation, you could do so inside this class here without clogging up the person class.